Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm your host Buckning and today we're going to give you the update. I know the video is coming out a bit later, but that's okay because we had purchased some stock yesterday, increased the position in um, BMO and so we're going to update you guys on the portfolio. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is where we put in $100 a week into a tax-free savings account to build a dividend portfolio right in front of your eyes. Um, so welcome. Consider hitting that like button, subscribing, leaving a comment, um, whatever you feel. So um, other than that, if you're not new, welcome back. Um, you know how it goes. So we'll just get right into it and update you guys on the portfolio. So currently the portfolio sits at $842.06. Um, on yesterday uh, at market close, we were up $10.75 at a rate of 1.29% above. Um, for the week, we were up $15.62, 1.89% uh, up. And then for the month, we are $32.89 up at 4.06%. And for the three months, we were up $32.06 at 3.96%, same here and same at all. Uh, so we will look into Bank of Nova Scotia first. Just give, guys, give you guys the go, 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 give you guys the update here. Um, for the day, uh, it closed at fifty-seven dollars and eighteen cents, with a total gain for the day of seventy-nine cents per share at uh, one point four percent, which is pretty awesome. Uh, this we have seven shares of Bank of Nova Scotia. Total value of four hundred dollars and. 26 cents the average cost basis price that we purchased uh, Bank of Nova Scotia was $54 and 58 cents uh, currently it holds 48.77 percent of this portfolio uh, the day return we made five dollars and 53 cents up 1.4 percent and our total return since purchasing our position in Bank of Nova Scotia is eighteen dollars and 21 cents at 4.77 percent return so we will back out here and we will go into activities and we will go into bank of montreal so yesterday in the morning we had purchased two shares of bank of montreal uh, at the cost basis price of 83 dollars and 52 cents so our total cost was 167.04 was able to get two shares and we will take a look at it here uh, for the day it closed out at 84 dollars and nine cents it was up uh, 1.64% of closing on Friday. We own five shares. The total value of $420.45. Our average cost basis price is $81.32 from the $84.09. Um, so dollar cost averaging is a good thing for the most part. It holds 51.23% of this portfolio here. Our today's return is $5.22, which is up 1.26%. And our total return since owning the position in BMO in this portfolio is $13.85, sitting at 3.41%. Uh, as you can see, we did a market buy, already showed this. But uh, throughout the month of October, because it is the stock of the month, we will be purchasing BMO. I think this will be our last time because the X dividend date lands on the 28th or the 20, yeah, 28th or 29th. And so if I buy anything past then I won't receive a dividend for the month of November. So we will probably move on to the next stock of November and we'll talk about that in the next video. So stay tuned. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll keep it on this, uh, this screen here while I switch screens and we go to trackyourdividends.com and update the portfolio here. So we will go ahead and switch screens. Mm -hmm. So currently, before the update of the portfolio prior, we currently have a portfolio value of $653. That's not including the cash balance. Um, that is just the value of the positions we hold. Um, and then we are currently 5.8. 81% of a dividend yield. Uh -huh. Where's my mouse? My mouse is missing. Interesting. Um, hold on a sec here. Let's fix this. Let me get my mouse over here. Um, just moving my mouse around like a, a madman. There it is. So, 5.81% uh, dividend yield, 
Uh, yield on cost currently for us is 6.1%. Our annual income currently is $38 before the update. Uh, like I said before, we've gone through this pretty much, but we'll go through it one more time. Uh, BMO, we, own, we owned three shares prior to increasing the position there. Uh, at $84.09 of closing. Our average cost was $79.85. We had a profit of $12.71. Our yield on cost is 5.31%. If you were to buy it uh, on the on Friday, yesterday, uh, before close, your dividend yield would have been 5.04%. Our annual income hasn't changed yet. Bank of Nova Scotia, uh, closing day price, $57.18, profit of $18.21, so we're up. Uh, if you were to buy Bank of Nova Scotia stocks on yesterday uh, before close, your dividend yield would have been 6.3%. Our yield on this portfolio with Bank of Nova Scotia is 6.6%. So we we're going to add a new holding here and update you guys. BMO.to doesn't show up. Let's BMO. There it is. BMO.to two shares cost basis. What was it? 83.52. We'll add that to the portfolio and everything should update here. Okay, just give it a sec. There it is. Okay, so now portfolio value is now updated to $821. Uh, we were up $32. Uh, if you were to build this exact portfolio today, your dividend yield would be 5.65%. Uh, yield on cost for this portfolio, portfolio for us is 5.88%. Our annual income is $46. Um, now we have a position of five shares in the portfolio. Our average cost is $81.32. We're at a profit of $13.85. If you were to buy it, uh, this position, same position with five shares today, 5.04% yield. Our yield on cost on the portfolio is 5.21. So we are receiving a bit more value. Um, than, than if you were to buy it yesterday, um, a total of five shares. But buying over time, uh, that is what is increasing our yield on cost. Our new annual income is $46. We are about to hit a little milestone. I think $50 is always a good milestone for the year. And then we just want to shoot for like maybe 100 bucks a month in the dividend portfolio. That'd be awesome because then you could pretty much buy any shares every single month. Um, and then it, it just starts compounding uh, that way. And so, yeah, that is the portfolio as of yesterday, day of close, market close on Friday. Uh, you're seeing this video Saturday, of course, and I am going to be posting today later on. But uh, we'll just go back to our main screen. So I uh, just wanted to address a little bit of other things. Uh, obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm definitely not your financial advisor. Um, and this is just my opinion. If you were to build this portfolio, please do your own research. Um, this is nowhere near any kind of advice for you to build this exact portfolio um, but also just want to address a few other things uh, some comments have, ca have came up uh, I can't remember what it was but it was talking about uh, why I have so little invested in this portfolio um, to answer that question is because this portfolio is honestly for entertainment purposes only um, but it's just to show how easy it is to start investing um, and build up to it because not everyone has a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars sitting around just to invest in, in one lump sum and and building it over time gives you the opportunity in the, in those gaps to learn about the stock market to learn about positions to learn about companies and things like that and so it, you know to answer that question is is this portfolio is is obviously just to show people that it's pretty easy to start investing, especially with Wealth Simple Trade, because there's no commission cost, which would eat up a lot of your profits. Um, and so that's the reason. Um, and then I had another question that came up uh, in regards to uh, this portfolio. This portfolio is obviously just a project um, to show people. Obviously, like just reiterate exactly what I said a few seconds ago. Um, and I do have uh, other portfolios on different trading platforms, but I just like keep those private um because that's not the focus on on what i'm trying to achieve here on the channel uh so hopefully you guys do understand i don't use quest trade just so you know i do use uh, a financial institute uh, trading platform uh, that i have been using for years and years and and so <clears throat> uh and trust me when i say i know about the commission fees eating up your profits 
uh, I made that mistake when I started investing quite a while back. Uh, and so it's, it's definitely, uh, that's why before it, it was difficult to invest a little bit hard to start investing because commission fees would just eat it up. Uh, I've never used Quest Trade, just so you know, I haven't used any other platforms. I've just used the Financial Institute um, that I use for their trading platform because it's the lowest fee for uh, trading. Uh, but now with Wall Simple Trade, it's so much easier, and and you don't have to worry about the risk of of commission fees eating up any kind of gains, any any kind of dividends, and and things like that. And so, hopefully that answers the question. But I probably won't share that portfolio, uh, maybe in the future, but uh, like a ways down in the future. It's not even a thought uh, to bring it on this channel and and show because I I don't want to steer away um, the channel from you know how to build a dividend portfolio journey to a portfolio that was already built uh, years and years ago. And so, and I still add to that that portfolio quite a bit. Uh, and so that is like my main squeeze, but this one's just like a, a side portfolio just to show you guys how to uh, start building a portfolio uh, with stability uh, first and then populating uh, all the positions that you have. And so just purchasing stocks to, to get you a dividend the, the month after and then continue that process I'm not going to buy a stock that doesn't have a dividend till for another three months. Even if it has massive capital appreciation, I'm just going to be looking at the ones that are paying a dividend next month. Um, and currently with the way the market is, uh, there's tons of opportunity for for growth in, in the little dips that we've had. And so hopefully that answers your question. But um, if you guys enjoyed the video, you know, consider leaving a like. It does help out the channel quite a bit, help, helps the channel grow. Uh, subscribe. We, I think we're currently at 80 subscribers, which is absolutely fantastic. So thank you for everyone who is subscribed um, and, and those that leave a comment. It, it, it's really good to see that, uh, the interaction, because I, I hope to interact with you guys more. But uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Other than that, uh, leave a like, subscribe, you know, the, the, the usual stuff. But we'll definitely see you guys in the next one. We have a dividend coming up next week. And so very excited about that for this portfolio. It'll be the first dividend. Uh, this portfolio and remember this is not financial advice it's entertainment purposes only uh, it's completely in my opinion and uh, yeah do your research so we'll see you guys in the next one bye